We joined the Super Legit crew before the show after a spirited conversation about tacos and Xiao Long Bao. Can I, can I talk to you guys after we record? I got something I'd like to share with you and get your take on after the recording. Four for yes. four. Great. Is, yeah, it, is it. it tacos or is it pot stickers? Is that what the thing is? Like, it, yeah, I'm just really mad that? about that. That's going to be the question of the episode, too. So like, this is just going to be an all-night thing. And um, then, Jen, if you want to check your Facebook message, you'll know what's up. Oh, I thought you were just making fun of me for looking at my no. <laughs> thing, and you weren't. <sighs> okay. She's one of us. She just assumes everyone's always making fun of her. I do, actually. Yeah. That's actually a really true thing. Yeah, wasn't that like funny the, the other day when I sent you that text that said, fucking mm-hmm. Jen Burton, and then we both just started laughing? That was fun. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Yep. I can I can trace all of my assumptions that I'm yes, being uh, made fun of back to that time I filmed this movie in San Francisco. <laughs> I think you meant to say. Berkeley. Oh, you should tell us about that. Oh, yes. I, I'm sure <laughs> no one will uh, use that as a way to call me a Hollywood elitist. <laughs> no, you do that all by yourself, big man. <laughs> Another episode of Super Legit. I am your host, Jet Kaufman, and uh, let's let's rattle off who I've got around me. I'm going to read them in reverse order, not that you care. We've got Chris Sanders. Hey, wait a minute. Stephen C. James. Michael Hyman. Uh, Josh Spence. I'm first. Here. Jen Burton. Uh-huh. And Sean Michael Boozer. Oh, wow. Just silence after that. Great. <laughs> you figured out that I was just going to keep talking and talking, and they're like, nope, that's it. Jet's going to talk for this entire episode. I mean, usually, How are you all doing? usually spend the whole episode talking Jet, so. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Down. I've oh. never agreed with Michael Hyman so much on something. High five, my man. <laughs> well, maybe I should just be silent <laughs> we, we high five so good there. We just did. Yeah, yeah so it was good. it was oh. a thing of beauty. That was, was amazing. Beautiful. I'm not, can I don't we, even have to. Can we try edit. it again? Oh, yeah. Let's let's do this. Everyone's going to love this. Oh, oh yeah, my that God. Did that was. not work out time either. <laughs> this that is much glorious. better than Jet talking. Watch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, Josh, you got to leave the one and done when it's perfect the first time. I really You're hope right. that this is our audience's first episode that they've ever listened to of this podcast because <laughs> yeah. it's just going to set this up so well. People are listening to this and they're like, I want to go to there. Yeah, no, it's mm, good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Because we're doing nothing but visuals. That's why they want to go to there. Yes. yes. Hey, we're yeah, working exactly. on the night so they cheese, can guys. Get the references. Working, working on the night, night cheese. cheese. Uh oh, oh lawsuit. Wait, no, no. Lawsuit. I was uh, just listening to something dollars. about how yeah, yeah, that cost them so much money, and I think mm. it was this podcast. Wait, I can't yeah. sing Bob Seeger. I can't sing Pearl Jam. I can't sing Metallica. Like Especially what do you want not from Metallica. Me? God. Yes. You guys sucked. Oh, yes. It's us that sucks, Josh. Yes. Yeah. We're the ones holding you back. <laughs> we're the, we're the ones who are going to sue you. That's right. Yes. Yeah. James Hetfield can do no wrong. Uh, so I wanted to do a little bit of a callback here because, you know, where we are, uh, we're quite a way into the run of this podcast. Um, we have our, you know, some, most of our core crew is here right now, but it's, you know, it's a slightly different mix of people than we had previously, too. Like, we're always mixing it up. And I think it's fun to revisit some questions and see where people are now. So I wanted to go back to an old one. Uh, and this is, what's a time you got dragged into something you'd have given anything to be kept out of? And so, like, you know, this is one of those, you know, maybe it's a, a, a squabble among friends. Maybe it's a uh, an awkward work situation. It's one of those things where you are stuck in the middle of it through no choice of your own, and you do not want to be there. Uh, I have one. Go for it, Josh. I would love to hear it. Thanks, buddy. Um, and actually, somebody saved my life in this ep- in this uh, situation. So I'm at a concert. It's 1999. I am seeing Pantera warm up for Slayer. It is a heavy show. It is awesome. So um, Pantera was amazing. Slayer is slaying. Um, it's coming up to near the end of the show, and they do this song called "Raining Blood," right? So. Mm-hmm. It, it it builds up, it builds up, and then has like this like like ominous guitar riff, and then it just goes into just like blast beats, right? So as, as it's building up to it, you see the crowd like getting antsy and getting amped and getting just they're building up to it, and I'm with you guessed it, my dad, and I'm like I'm gonna jump in the pit, and he's like jump in the pit. <laughs> so I jump 
in the pit and I'm like getting amped and everybody else is getting amped. And I look to the guy to my right. This is no, no embellishing. The guy to the right put some brass knucks on. Oh my God. And the guy to the left had his wallet chain and put like the wallet around the wallet chain around his knucks. And the, these are like these are like biker dudes, like muscular biker Sam Crow mother efforts. And I'm like, oh! And right before it kicks off, one of the biker guys grabs like like I'm a little boy, like I'm a big guy, grabs me by the scruff of my neck and says, "You don't belong here," and puts me back next to my dad. Oh my and God. then when it kicks off, the bro bro bro, that same dude punched another dude. In the mouth, and a tooth went flying. Oh, <laughs> they just gosh. went. They just. Oh. Ah, they just went ape shit on each other, and we're just watching this mayhem and just. But it was but what it's a the craziest... stand up dude for moving you out of the way. Yeah. Like, yeah. Was was he a stand up dude? He had brass knuckles. So here's the dude. <laughs> here's the deal. His tooth out. I yeah. came up in the punk. I came up in the punk scene, and that was yeah, and dude. It was all about thrashing and skanking and, and mosh pit. But dude, here was the thing: you looked out for your people. Like right, if that's someone the rule. Went down, you pick, pick them, up. them up, and you don't. Mm-hmm. You're not looking to punch anybody. You're not looking to hurt anybody. You're just working it out. Like that to me sounds horrific. You were there for the wrong reason, my friend. You aren't punching people in the face. That's not what this yeah. is. Well, you I think that's a difference. Skanking. <laughs> what is skanking? <laughs> oh, so it's, it's the same thing it's as when ska music. It's the same, same thing arms, as kicking so skanking. The legs. Anyway, ah. side note. I was just confused. <laughs> I, I, I've also, never I'm heard that point word. out. We don't know what was really going on in that situation because for all we know, that guy with the brass knuckles was a time traveler from the future. And the other guy was going to be Hitler 2.0 episode 52. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, no, but I, Shawn Michaels hundred percent, right. I think that's one of the di- key differences between like that, like heavy thrash metal stuff and like, mm-hmm. you know, hardcore punk because the hardcore punk guys are just trying to work it out. You know, the the crowd is like one living thing and like the thrash metal dudes are just there to fight, you know. But see, yeah, I, I thought all pits were like uh like pop punk pits because like I when I was in college there were some guys that I knew who were in like this pop punk band and they wound up playing at this club that we went to and there were only like maybe fifteen people in there, but there were a couple of dudes that were like bikers. And like most of us were there to see this band yeah. and like a couple of my friends formed like like a five or six person pit, like bouncing up against each yeah. other. And these Good two biker James. dudes come in uh. like elbows, boom, 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 clocked one of my buddies in the back of the head. Party like, bell. yeah, this Damn. is what we're here for. I and yeah, I did not realize that was a thing that happened all the time. I thought those guys were just like, hey, let's fuck up these college kids. <laughs> uh, get into a pit at the uh, uh, Ichthus, which is like. What? A yearly, it's the yearly Christian rock music festival, or just Christian what? music festival. <laughs> and they have uh, a pit there. Oh well, there's not Gentle supposed hugs. to be. I'm already fascinated. You cannot defeat them. I went. Fuck my story. Yes, this or is three way. years, two years. Uh, I had the time of my life. Um, you, I, you do get to see there some of the bands that start in the Christian like moving up the Christian charts and then go secular and like sixpence on the richer and Mm -hmm. POD. uh, Just uh, there's not, not many. I think live actually, I saw live there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Live. Um, Yeah. Great band. uh, There's no other way to see live. But anyways, uh, the, this is all like, it's populated by generally teenage and early twenties, hardcore Christians. Like you pray during every set the the performers just feel the feel the urge to have a massive group prayer uh but pretty much during every song after every song or two one of the either the lead singer of whoever's playing or one of like the ichthus head staff or whatever will come over the mic and and remind everybody uh, that you need to only jump up and down, not round and round. Up and down, guys, <laughs> not round and round. <laughs> um, that also so feels sweet. like a Christian sex manual. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, it does. Like that that old uh, that old rap song that was uh, uh, on the internet. Um, give me that Christian side hug. 
<laughs> what? This is, this is a bit, yeah, this is this made the rounds like a decade ago. It was like a viral video of this this song played at a church. Um, and like, it's all thuggy and like, they're really getting into, you know, you know, they're trying to like, but it's all about, uh, give me that Christian side hug. Um, because Christians don't hug front to front because yeah. that's sinful. So mm-hmm. you, you have to hug to the side and it's like, it's trying so hard to be cool and with it. And of course, can't possibly when the message is don't touch one another because <laughs> you might be too sexy. Well, I, I will say one thing, the the jumping up and down versus round and round. There is something to that. Cause if, I don't know if you guys have been to like any big massive like festivals like Bonnaroo mm-hmm. or uh metal fest or whatever, but like once, once there's a, a proper bounce with like the rest of the crowd, mm-hmm. it's like a wave. You're like in one of those big wave yeah. pools. And uh, you know, as someone who I haven't gone to a concert, well, actually I have, but it's been a long time since I've done the big festival thing is what I'm trying to say. But when you go to the, big festivals and you're a part of that and then at, at a certain point you're not even jumping like you're just going with the crowd mm-hmm. that's that's something amazing to that like i remember seeing the foo fighters in tennessee and yeah that was that was one of those things it was pretty rad that's a tall man's game though <laughs> <laughs> super daddy um i'm really excited to go to the concert with you this is gonna be super fun Why do we have to wear Kevlar? In case, son, someone tries to front hug you. You want to protect yourself. So front hugging Uh, is a gateway. A gateway to space docking. I don't want to tell you what space docking is, but you'll learn later on in life. It sounds intimidating and unchristian. It is the most unchristian of the unchristian things bordering on satanic we're gonna wear our kept i'm gonna break the fourth wall is space talking a real thing or you just made that up no that's a thing he's oh, yeah, absolutely right it's a thing okay. that jews can't do though <laughs> what i'm so confused <laughs> good luck oh no this is a this is where i'm gonna be left out of the party <laughs> And back that? to the seat. So, okay. <laughs> son, we're gonna wear our Kevlar, mm-hmm. and I know, um, yeah, I know that your mother and I are no longer together. But because I miss you are of the faith, and mm-hmm. you have had something that will prevent you from space talking, mm-hmm. um, I want you to be able to um, rebuke the the urge if someone does space hug you. So I'm gonna have you wear this. Um, prosthetic it's a it's i got it from a moil i just want you to put it on okay it's gonna feel a little weird um but uh Uh i think it's something you need to get used to something that will help you deny Mm -hmm. deny to 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 rebuke the devil okay you know there's nothing i like more than rebuking the devil daddy um except pokemon get back thee satan get back i say were you, was, you talking uh, to me? Just no, I was just, I was just practicing. I was just practicing. Okay, because that was a mean thing to call me. Oh, no, no, no. I meant no. There's no. You're not. Okay, first of all, there's not Satans. There's Satan. It's only one. It's one person. One anti-deity. Uh, okay, because mommy makes makes this, this thing called Satan um, instead of bacon. Um, all right, you know what? Let's get into it. Your mom doesn't even believe in hell. So uh, oh, oh, she's got hey. a whole host of problems here, right? Hey, sweetheart, sorry. Oh, Did, I heard oh. you call mommy. Oh, oh I didn't. Mean me? I thought you had already left the McDonald's parking lot. Um, <laughs> um. So I thought we were going to do the switch. You'd go your way and I'd take the little guy. Uh, didn't realize you were listening to Nathan, us. Nathan, what the hell are you wearing? It's what did Kev- you put our son in? It's Kevlar. Is that it's Kevlar? It's to protect it's me from, from front hugs. I don't, oh, I don't want to space dock boy. with anyone. Oh my God, um, Nathan, Nathan, I, hold on. Welcome to Paul's Pickle. What's your deal is what we'd like to say. Um, I know you wanted the uh, space stock, but we also have an air hog uh, 9000 if you're interested in upgrading your Kevlar technology. Yeah. Daddy, do I, do I want that? I don't understand. Do you have that in a junior size? Because uh, he ain't so big yet. But uh, Yeah, we have that in a junior. We have that in extra petite. 
Uh, if you're you're looking to actually go for a use size, we recommend the air jammer. It uh, it does what it says it does. It jams the air. I like that. Right. I like the new the new tech to see, son. You were so lucky. They had none of this technology when I was a kid. You were the so technology protected. is is uh, it's great when it's not made by Satan. Is that right, Dad? It's blessed. We sell the best in Kevlar Satan protecting technology. And if you're going to get the air jammer for the kid, I'm just saying you get the Master Blaster for you and go as a marching pair. Because you know who runs Barter Town? Master Blaster run Barter Town. That's what I'm saying, my man, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. High five it. Hey, we did it. Am I going to get this reference someday? Legit. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> <laughs> That was the most I've had enough of this legit I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck you. That was not good. I don't spend a lot of time thinking about people docking, and then suddenly it's in my brain, and then suddenly I have to realize I realize is that now an anti-Semitic sex act? <laughs> it is exclusionary. Oh, wow. It is. Yeah. Well, it's one side. Well, in fairness. Anyway. In fairness, <laughs> one person can be a Jew in that equation. That's true. Well, no, if you want to get a good yeah. seal, oh you got to have two foreskins. I mean, you I don't want like to have your dick blasted off in the space. God, so I hope, this, exactly. is, true. I hope yeah. this is the ad. I hope this is the ad. Do you need a good sealing for your <laughs> space docking? Have I got it for you? Mr. Moyles, oh. leftover sealant. I can't believe I've gone this long without knowing this. <laughs> and don't you wish you'd gone just a little bit longer, like maybe a I lifetime? I really wish I'd made it to death, but, it's, you know, you can't have <laughs> yeah. anything. Yeah. What are you, gonna <laughs> you can't do? always get what you want. Uh, yeah. Just Jen going, what? <laughs> I don't know where we go from there. I just, I just, it that's makes the episode. Wonder, like, We're done. How many I don't know. What is side hugging supposed to prevent? Like, that's the only thing I could think of. That's supposed to prevent genitals touching or breasts touching the other person. Like, okay, you know, basically, so, but if you're two ladies, breast to breast. Yeah, but you you're kidding. Like I get a little elbow Sanders. Boob, yes. Awesome. See? Yeah. Yes, yes. Exactly. Yeah. But, 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 but uh, lesbianism doesn't exist, oh, according to the Christians. Yeah. Oh, so I can turn them on to some websites. Mm-hmm. Hey, Never done a double air doc. Some copy trons. <laughs> double double four fronted air I will air definitely doc. be putting um, four breasted. Air doc. Hey, you guys pocket doc? Oh, I'll pocket oh, doc with you. We call it a. Oh, call it a, oh god. <laughs> I just I just watched uh, uh, an, the latest episode Gross. of uh, uh, Resident Alien, which is such that a great a show. show. And and some woman referred uh, referred to her lady pocket in that episode. Oh, that boy. was just, that was amusing <laughs> to me. This is all in the episode. Uh, We're keeping all of this. I just went yeah. down uh, a Kate McKinnon rabbit hole because she was on that show Good One, and I went and watched mm-hmm. all of her alien abduction skits. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, uh, so and good, there's yeah. so there's always a rhyming reference to like. Uh oh my Friend gosh. back, yes. Yes. My yeah. cooter and my pooter. Yep. Yeah, her cooter and her pooter <laughs> or her uh her love hole and her fudge pole or like all like everything. <laughs> it's like and it's so uh they're always so you know they're you know they're on their way and they're always such a delightful yeah. I love that one line. It's great writing and perfect delivery. I love that one line where they're like, yeah, maybe it was for like, you know, medical purposes. And she was like, Nope, there was like one little gray one just kinda keeping a lookout. <laughs> Yeah. (laughs) Uh, So yeah, who who else has got something for uh, for our our question? Uh, Something got dragged into that you would rather not have been. I think we've all. This is something I think all of us can relate to. Um, When two people should not be together that are Uh, together, mm -hmm. but you're not one of those people. You're the third person in the car, (laughs) and um, they are like full on screaming, shouting fight, like as if you're not there, like mm. just a sense of comportment would say that maybe I shouldn't scream in front of this third person. Like, and you're just back there pretending like you're not there, even though you're there. Oh, that. So, uh, we're coming back from, um, what's that, uh, uh water slide way out. Raging waters or. Yes. Or... Yeah. So it's Insane like, a, it's demons? a good wild yes, river. It's like a good, like, Yes, yes. It's like a good like hour and a half drive back. Mm-hmm. Um and uh wet. These two people had no business being together. And uh this has nothing to do with the story, but this is I it but I love this woman like she's my sister. And um like I thought I the the possibility <laughs> that my relationship with her would be over when I said this, but I told her um I I didn't care for the dude. He was not 
good for her. He def- and I, dude, I was so scared to have this conversation with her because right. I thought that might be the end of our relationship. And she said, I understand where you're coming from and I appreciate that. And that was the last time I ever said anything, but um, it was obvious that I did not like that. I, there's, I mean, I would never, I would never be openly mean to him, but he just was, he was disrespectful. He was, he was not a good guy. Um, so I'm in the back and first of all, I'm trying to bite my tongue because I'm not part of the relationship, so I can't butt in, but they're both trying to draw me and they'd look around and like, want to get, I'm like, I'm not here. I am <laughs> not here. And that was the most painful ride, um, back to civilization. Um, and you're right. Being damp did not make it better. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's rough watching uh, watching people um, in, in like in relationships that they shouldn't be in. Uh, I, I, I got dragged into one a while ago where a very good friend of mine um, and his girlfriend, like I both both friends, both people I really respected. I wanted to see them happy and they were having some problems and they're like, hey, you're the only person we trust to like talk through this stuff with us and maybe help us. So like I ended up being relationship counselor to them oh. several times and yeah, like it. I yeah, want that. that's a bad yeah, idea was, unless you're making uh, two hundred fifty dollars an hour. Yeah. There's a reason <laughs> you get money for that. Right. Right. And like, you know, and, and again, like I did it out of love for both of them and I really wanted them to be happy. But like it was also the whole time is like I kept hearing all these red flags on both sides of this. And it's like, uh, I, like I want to help you, but I also feel like I want to tell you end this. Super. Look, I'm just St. Peter. I, I read the Lamb's Book of Life. I usher people into the Holy Worship Center. But I will say, after seven days, it just it doesn't seem like it's working out between you, Satan, and you, Almighty God. I just I know one of you leads the choir, one of you leads the service, but it just it looks like it's a clear difference in collaboration. That's just me. I'm not here. I'm just saying it. I love you both. I mean, he cast me out. What am I supposed to do here? You cast yourself out. Let's be honest about what happened here. I'm running the show. You tried to run the show. I run the show. You got yourself cast out, pal. Okay, hold on. Your idea of me trying to run the show is giving ideas. I thought we should just give people more free reign. Whoa, whoa. I wasn't that the point. When did I open this up for brainstorming, huh? When, when don't, did that Don't happen? look at me. I just, oh. I'm... I'm just stuck here. I'm I'm good. We we were friends. I figured we had it. You know, I I I thought there was a mutual respect thing here. We I could were just speak friends. Up. We weren't. That's why this hurts so much. Why would you do this to us? Oh oh, you don't think it hurts me? You don't uh, think? Look, you you gave everybody free will, and then you put all these rules on them. And I'm like, what's with all the rules? What's with all the rules? If like, um. Beazle, Beazle Bubby, I, I, I think we're having a good first date here, but it just seems like you're talking a lot about your ex. Like, let's focus on us. Like, you know, so you you run a, a summer camp, a, a hot, a hot summer camp. Is that what you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's it's a it's a it's a you know it, it's it's pretty hot. Uh, you know, uh, I it's a little far away from your know, commute's not really great you know i used to live in a much nicer home i like that you brought your number friend, two uh, that's like we're like it's like a, a th- it's a thruple thing that's pretty that's interesting i'm i want to hear from the th- beasle needs the hype man okay but like okay so he sticks with me everywhere he supports me like i haven't been supported before i'm sorry I just you know again you know i've had my heart broken you know oh, i need some i need some regular support satan I thought Tuesdays were my night at Club Shay. Why are you at the restaurant on my night? Oh, oh. and on a date and with your hype man. Oh, what? what? Uh, uh, let me is, introduce oh. myself. I'm here with God. My name is Mary. Hi. Hi. She's a virgin, Hi. bitches. Oh. Stop. <clears throat> You're well, tight, oh. totally. I'm Larry. Not I'm a long I'm a janitor. Hey, nice to meet you. She's very pretty. I'm the do y'all want a table together? Yeah, you have this right here. I think we would. Yeah, sure. Why not? And yes. you know yes. what? I'd love some tableside guacamole and a big ass margarita. No problem. Mary's and some fish chili for the table. Some fish chili for the table. Fish chili, guacamole, big margarita. You seem fun, Mary. Isn't Mary great, Satan? She seems like a lovely young lady. How did you two meet? Well, um, she was pretty. 
Why don't you you tell the story? I love listening to you. I okay, love the so, sound of your voice. Right? I cut to the kitchen. We're all out of fish chili. What are you, what are you get talking out about? Here. Oh, God and Satan at that table. Do you understand what's I happening don't care out there you right got now? The table. We're all out of fish Do you chili. Want this we restaurant? can't keep sending in tickets for fish chili when we are out of fish Listen, chili. I don't know what you gotta <laughs> fucking do to get your shit together, but if we don't give Satan I, I don't know who you, Mar- the Virgin Mary's out there. We haven't had a customer in three days, and the entire uh, everybody who's in charge of the universe because wants we're fish out chili. of fish chili, huh? Do you want to do the cooking? I, no problem. Here, take my apron. You do it. Oh, I'm guess what? You can't. You. We don't have any goddamn fish okay, chili. Can you just try to pull something together that looks like fish chili, just so I can bring them something? Oh, sure. Yeah. Let me see. To- Oh, a dirty dish okay. rag. That looks like a scrumptious filet. Uh, you know what? I like the chef special. Dirty dish rag. This is pretty good. This, You guys got to try this. Shut up, Larry. Aww. So, Mary, uh, you were telling us uh, about how you two met. I uh, just, uh, you, you seem like, uh, uh, he well, seems happy. Hold on a second. I, I mean, why. I know you're Satan and all, but that was a really shitty thing you just said to Larry. That's I mean, our, it's that's our first toxic. date. We're just feeling each other out. Oh, well, Mary I, has your number, Satan. I would not recommend a second one, Larry. So anyway, there I am, asleep in my bed. Can right? I just, for one second, I'm, I hate to interrupt you, but I just mm-hmm. want to talk about your emotional intelligence. Oh. Did, you, did you hear that, Satan? She understands. You know what, Mary? Like to I, be heard, in a relationship. I, I, I'm I heard you interrupting her, which is uh, something you've always done. You interrupt a lot. You know what, Mary? Well, Every I time say. I had an opinion, any time I wanted to get something out, you just had to cut me off and look at this beautiful young woman here and right away just cutting her off. Um, That's the first valid point you made. Mary, I apologize. Please continue. I just felt you were trying to enhance the story, and I appreciate the compliment. Thank you very oh. much, Almighty. At least you didn't tell me to shut up. Sorry. So I would never. Okay, so we have uh, never. five margaritas, and then we have um, here we have some guacamole. And I, <laughs> what's everybody else drinking? <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. And she's funny. Uh, and she's uh, funny. Uh, Hilarious woman. Yeah. Cut to the bar. We are all out of margaritas. What are you telling me? You're gonna need to go back there and tell them we have no Listen, more margaritas. Here's what I, I want don't you care to do. who you got I at want table, you to fill you can't... five margaritas with lemonade and just. Put some whiskey in it. I'm just going to call it a freaking margarita. I am not going against God and Satan right now. I am a God-fearing woman and a Satan-fearing woman and a Mary-fearing woman. And there's another guy there, and I'm afraid of him just because of his friends. What? What? Oh, God, this is, this is worse than a bachelorette party. I got okay. you covered. Great. So his friend Michael God, leans to over to me and says, God would like to make you his vessel. And I was like, what? That's yeah, so that like romantic. That's, that that, that I, guy really is was just lovely. a villain vessel it just, all over the place. It just came to me. It's, it's something I never said before. I didn't ever think of it. It just, in the moment, the beauty oh, of... Oh, so that uh, wasn't your pickup line. That was, you want to tell Mary and I that that's not a thing you did well, with every pretty young thing you could find. I'll tell you what, though. Right. No. I'll tell you or, what, though. No. Or Beasle. every pretty ageless thing you could find. Beasle over here has got some good pickup lines, too. I remember that I was at the Lake of Fire, and I was putting some chlorine in it, you know, overdoing the chlorine because people like to pee in the lake. Interesting of- story. So what do, why are you trying to ruin this, though, huh? What is your problem, Satan? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 I am trying to ruin this. You oh, are tra- You just- came in here with an agenda, and you've been working it since we sat down. Ah, uh, an agenda? You think You think me just, just pointing out your hypocrisy, your bullshit, the way you, you want to be holier than thou while oh, you snap. just uh, make um, all the rules? Me. Hypocrisy? Me. I'm omniscient. That means I know a hey, lot of stuff, hey, so sometimes they, hey, are, they are in conflict with each other because I'm omnipotent. Do you guys your own table? All right? I mean, I really feel like it's a real dick move here, okay? Larry was trying to say something. Also, Cut why to the host is... Stand. <laughs> We're all out of tables! What are you telling me right now? There's no more tables. Look, they want to divide us into two them. different groups. we got to figure it's out how to get I don't care who you got at that one table right now. You cannot divide them this... up. We are out of tables. I really like this restaurant because it's just one table in the whole restaurant it's a lot of space but it's one table i feel like they're gonna take care it of it's a lot of people uh, but all of them yeah. just sit on one side of the table for some is reason is this my time to I, shut up again I, satan i mean it sits at the intersections of heaven and hell you know it's one of those places that 
people. From it's nice that they've got a guy painting a portrait of us this entire time, though. That's uh, it's a pretty sweet feature. You, you know they make you pay for that at the end. What? That's some bullshit right there. Wow. Insulting and cheap. What a catch. And he's all mine. Good okay. one, Mary. All right. You two seem very well suited for each other. You know what? Just... I'm going to have a nice uh, time with uh, with uh, Lenny. Lenny, was Larry. it? Larry. That's right. Larry. Larry. Sorry. It's Larry. Yes, with Larry here. The janitor. Because uh, 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 living well is the best revenge, they say. That, you know. Uh, yeah, we can get out of here. You Are know, you... burning in hell Hey, for man, do you want to go to an Arby's and. Shut up. Y'all Larry. ready for the. Cut oh. to the valet. We lost all the cars. What are you all telling me right now? No, I don't know. I, I, I swear to God, we lost all the cars. <laughs> it was a big white carrot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, legit. Oh. 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 oh, my God. That scene would have killed on stage. Oh. That's yeah. great. That was such oh. a fun sub game. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love that all the times I said, should I shut up? You let me <laughs> <talk>. <laughs> That's how that works. Keep him guessing. It's a real Dom sub thing we got going <laughs> oh, on. Yes. Satan. <laughs> oh, uh, I think we have a, another sponsor this week. I love the fact that people are willing to pay us to peddle their products on this show. I just uh, have my are fingers we getting crossed favors it's, again, or it's not going to be like that that episode where you know human flesh was involved. But you know, I'm 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 picky. I'm picky. Well, well, we'll we'll what, find space out hogs, really quickly. The space- Hot dogs? That's true. Yes. Yeah. We had you have a sponsor this week, and it's it's a it's a good one. So here we go. Not a great one. Hello, I'm Burt Lancaster, star of From Here to Eternity. <laughs> here with yeah. Papa Doodle Do. Papa Doodle Do <laughs> is the perfect product for your hot cha cha, and you're lacking tiki taki too. Are you in the market to really increase your hot cha cha? Well, this Papa Doodle Doo is the thing for you. Papa Doodle Doo has his patented Flababa to help you hot cha cha all the way to your slipper skimble. Papa Doodle Doo will doodle your scoodle and ticky tacky too all the way to the bedroom. Am I right? You know I'm right. And ladies, hot Papa Doodle Doo's for you too. And your doodle, the doodly do, ha cha cha, la ba 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 baby. That's right. I'm Burt Lancaster. From here to eternity, with Papa Doodle Do, Papa Doodle Do's patented slipper skibbling slibbling bibbling will help your ha cha cha. Papa Doodle Do. Visit them today. <laughs> uh, that was the best wow. one ever. I hope Burt Lancaster is going to be okay after that five minute stroke yeah. he just had. <laughs> yeah, I really. Uh, uh, I'm okay but, though, guys. Uh, but you, you really, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't properly space dock without uh, Tiki Tacky Two. I mean, uh, I, I know that he was just, in the sweet way. smell of success, but I think he spent that entire ad smelling burning toast. Yeah, <laughs> just just the way Burt Lancaster said, "Hot cha cha." <laughs> uh, one of Hollywood's what? greats. They don't even have to pay us in favors in that one. That one's yeah. free. Yeah, no, I'm gonna give them back their money. Um, <clears throat> woo! All right. Um, back to our subject. Uh, mm-hmm. I'd love to hear some more uh, mine, some more stories from was, you. Crap, you got dragged into. Also, kind of a crowd one. I've had. A, I'm mm-hmm. five foot four. And whenever I go to any kind of crowded anything, and I sort of have a little bit of a fear of crowds, but since we already did a crowd one, I feel like I should do another one. Yeah. So I'm going to do a different one. Um, (laughs) Although I had a very good one about being in New York on New Year's Eve. Wait, you gave us the whole setup for the petite story, and then it was so perfect, and you're like, but I'm not going to tell you that story. (laughs) It's very similar to the other one, which is I'm a very short person who got in a crowd in New York City on on New Year's Eve and I felt like I was going to die. End of story. <laughs> Not very interesting. Didn't die. <laughs> you died? Um, I thought about it, but I got out of there. Um, <laughs> the one where I got dragged into something was um, in high school. I, I will have a heart palpitation while I'm telling this story. Hell um, yeah. You know, high, how high school, <laughs> in my diddly do, um, you know how in high school they do like, Maybe you didn't do this, but high school carnivals. Did you guys ever do this? Where they'd get like mm-hmm. some rinky dink 
like carnival rides and like put them on mm-hmm. the football field and the ones that look very those deadly. ones. Yeah, that's the one. Yes. That's exactly the one. And my friend really wanted to go on the zipper ride. I don't know if you guys know what this is. Oh, wow. Yes. So it goes mm-hmm. up yep. into the sky and there's little mm-hmm. cars that flip around in 360s. Mm. Yep. So yeah. um, she. I thought zipper rides were something different. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> this is Hot a. Hot challenge right here on the space yeah. docking. Um, nope, different one. Um, so she really wants, my friend really wants to go on this ride and I don't want to because it looks like a death trap. And she convinces me to go. So I go. And um, so I guess this is between my friend and this ride. That is where I was stuck between. (laughs) Because once we get into this thing, there's no, there's nothing holding us. Nothing. There's no, Uh. it is a metal cage with two metal little seats. And then I assume, once again, being a short person, if you're a tall person, you could probably put your arms up and hold yourself Mm -hmm. like in so that, yeah. mm-hmm. but I'm too short for that. So I am, this thing starts flipping and she's making it flip worse. And it is, mm-hmm. I, I mean, it's still to this day, one of the most terrifying experiences that I have ever <laughs> had in my life. I was a hundred percent convinced that I was going to die. And I, what would happen is it would flip over and I would fall like three inches to the ceiling and have to hold myself with my arms and then oh. it would flip and then I would fall back on my ass. And then I would just go back and forth between these two things. And I was screaming for them to stop the whole time. They mm-hmm. did not. And she thought it was hilarious. Yep. And yep. Um, at any rate, we're no longer friends. <laughs> so. yeah. That's one of those days when you find out, oh, my friend is a monster. She yeah. thought yes. it was like a blast, but she's taller than me. So it was really insane. I can't believe that. Did she not understand your experience of the ride? I think she got a sick plot. You know those people who yeah. think it's funny, who think it's funny when yep. you are suffering. When other people are miserable. Yes, yes. that yeah. was what it was. And and the Shot ex- like Florida. everybody who watched America's Funniest Home Videos. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some of was your friend like? Were there indications that she was that person before this happened? Um, I mean, it's high school, so it's hard for me to remember like what the you know. I don't know. Your friends in high school are, I'm like, I'm not really friends with anybody that I There's knew. There's a in lot high of school. monsters. Right. Yeah. They were just your friends because they had the locker closest yeah, to you. I get that, we yeah. We sat next together in science and then mm-hmm. we became friends. And that was like our bond was just like proximity. Um, she was a nice enough person. She was fun. She could be fun, but it was just. She sounds like a peach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making yeah, her out to be worse than she was. It was more of just like our definitions of fun were very different. And on a uh, side note, yeah. Uh, on a side note, I've never actually gotten to meet Jen Burton in person. I have oh. always, in my head, you're like 5'10", 5, 5'11". 5, oh, yeah. I've always pictured you in my head as statuesque. And to find out that you're 5'4", I'm like... I'm sorry. Oh, this this totally... Okay, nope. mm-hmm. all right. Tiny Just little slug you, thing. What's the opposite yeah, of statuesque? Yeah, you sound tall. You uh, sound super tall. Jen no, lives in I'm, the clouds pet- on top of a beanstalk, guys. <laughs> That's what I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I live yeah, inside yeah. of a bean. No, I'm not <laughs> statuesque. I am pretty, pretty. I got a, I, I got a similar story to Jen's, which goes back to our original question of roller coaster rides. Um, <laughs> I, I remember being at. That's how this works. <laughs> I remember being at the Stratosphere, and you know they have that. They have this one ride that oh, shoots yeah. you up with like three million feet in like two seconds or whatever. That's correct. I, I remember sitting on that, and I, I, I with the passion hate roller coasters it's just not my thing mm. and i'm, I'm sitting mm. there with my with you i'm sitting there with my cuz right and she's like seven eight years younger than me but like totally more brave way more braver than i and uh she's like oh it's gonna be fun and i was like i don't want to do it and she's like come on quit being a whatever and i was like i'm not a whatever <laughs> and <it's> fine <laughs> and then i sit in and the guy's like okay and he's just like really not paying attention he's just like Da, 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 this is the thing do 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 and he like puts the thing on over us safety bar yeah. <laughs> she goes ha ha uh, your thing's not locked you're gonna fall out and i go shut up she's like ha 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 you're gonna die it's not locked i go shut up it's not and they're like are you guys ready and as it's building steam she's like are you ready to die i went shut up and as soon as it like gathered speed and shot me up you heard the thing go click and it locked in. 
And instead oh, of no. us enjoying the whole ride, we both looked at each other like, I almost died. You almost died. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, it clicked in as I shot up 3,000 feet. <laughs> oh, that's scary. So I don't, Ugh. so that's why I don't go on roller coasters. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that seems perfectly reasonable. Yeah, I remember uh, when I was a kid, I was filming at Magic Mountain and I what were you went on Tidal Wave <laughs> uh, step by step. They, the, the title sequence to step by step. They rented out the entire park for a day just to film the title sequence for step by step. Wow. It was ridiculous. That's cool. Um, but like. Super. <laughs> Hi, Bert. Thanks for coming in for reading the part of Patrick Duffy in Step by Step. Can you just go yeah. ahead and read the sides that we gave you? See, I think you have the job. Just if you can just go ahead and do this for Suzanne real quick, and we'll just get you on the way. But I think you're the guy. Go ahead. Of course, I'm the guy. Cha-cha, Bert Lancaster here. skippily do. That was wonderful. <laughs> I know. I, are we are we making a mistake, Bo, by calling the character Patrick Duffy? <laughs> I feel like we might get sued. Good question. I feel like that's a, that might be problematic. No, Great no. Question. If we put a K in mm. between the two Fs, we'll be fine. Mm. Mm. Problem solved. What Problem about solved. like a Dantrick Puffy? Ooh, I love this. It's original. I'm sorry. Can you just read those sides again? Hickory dockery. <laughs> I like that. Just, Yeah. No, what, no, keep doing your that? thing. Actually, if oh. you could flip to the love scene on page 15, I'd yeah. love to hear you do that. Just your uh, parts. Of course. And leave space it's... for the lady parts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are in bed. Scoodly doodly. Lippity bobbida. You know, uh, hello. Wow. Well, I'm turned on. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. I mean, Mr. Lancaster sounds fantastic mm. and everything. Mm. I'm just mm. wondering if we are going to have a SAG issue. What with him having died in 1994? Oh, Ooh, well, that, dish to to that could be a problem. That could be a problem. <gasps> Does he have a, uh, a fund set up? We could we could channel all of his monies into there, and I think that would be oh. everybody loves Ooh. when you're given to charity and a big star or, or, like that. that or win, win. Mr. Lancaster, win, win. is yeah. there any way we can have you undie? Would you? I know it's a big ask, but could you be a ghost? If I may be frank. From Here to Eternity wasn't just the name of a movie I was in. It's my philosophy on cheating death. Ribbity bibbity. Oh. Wow. Oh. Okay, wow. You know what? We do have an in with both Satan and God. So, so do I. And bring you back to life. And a, um, another. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Mary. And Ted. Oh. And Larry. And Larry. I don't know if you've heard yeah. of him. But he's, he's in that field. He's in the mix. So do I have the role or what? What do you guys think? I think so. Congratulations. I'd love to awkwardly high five you. Mm. Flabba de bobba oh, wow. Your hand went right through his because he's a ghost. Is he a hologram or is he a spirit or is he a Burt Lancaster, Lancaster, baby? I don't think we're allowed to ask. Let's call him a hologram because then we can pay him less. Oh, Ooh, good point. Love good it. Point. Love it's it. 73% scale. <laughs> Legit. Legit. <laughs> so Jet, were you in the middle of a story or something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, this was one of the points where I probably could have already figured out that that like they were considering recasting me for that role because <laughs> they didn't put me on uh, on the roller coaster that they put almost the entire family on. There's like a, bunch, oh. a couple people that they left off and like we're on standing on the side waving at them or whatever. So like there were a few things like that. So there's several rides I didn't get to go on just you know despite the fact that the cast did, the rest of the cast did. But somebody took pity on me and was like, hey, would you like to do Tidal Wave since everybody else is on that one? You know, I'll, I'll, I'll go on Tidal Wave with you. I was like, all right, that sounds great. Like, I was six at the time. This is Jet from the future. I was nine, not six. Years are not my friend. And not only was I six, but like I had been I had been diagnosed with a growth disorder when I was four, which turned out to not be real. But it just it was because I was very small for my age and I always was. Um, so I'm going on Tidal Wave with... Uh, a man who I'll just I'll say was full figure. He was fat, guys. Um, you know, guy probably in his forties, <laughs> and I am this tiny, tiny, tiny six year old. And the way the tidal his wave name was Larry. The way the tidal <laughs> wave ride works is it has one safety bar across the entire row for everyone. <laughs> oh, <who's in> it. <laughs> no. 
so we get in the ride. The the bar comes down, locks into place. Poor Fat Larry. Perfectly for him. Like, he is very safe. And I'm looking at this and going, there is absolutely nothing holding me into this ride whatsoever. <laughs> just Just nothing. There's probably a good two feet in front of me. Because, again, tiny little kid. Mask, I, just for my yes. own, uh, is, is Tidal Wave a roller coaster or is it a, like it a is, log it, 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 ride? It was a ride that it is a, a wide, like it fits, I think, two people and two people in rows, like two people side by side and two behind it. And it basically, I forget how it starts, but the big deal at the end is it is a very steep drop into water that creates uh, a gigantic it's splash. Like, it's like an outdoor magic or an outdoor splash mountain. Yeah, yeah, mountain. a lot like that. And like the splat, yeah. but the splash that creates at the end is the big deal because there's a bridge over the mm-hmm. ending where people stand and like this is a big shot in the show where the cast is up there and gets just drenched by it. Mm-hmm. Like that's how hard it hits and like it's such a high drop and so we get to this top of the thing we crest and then we drop and literally i was certain i was going to just slide right out the front of this thing because like gravity takes over or or like out the back of it i don't know but gravity takes over and it's like i'm sure i went you know superman is designed to actually make you go weightless for like one and a half seconds or whatever (laughs) i'm sure i went weightless as this thing dropped because there was nothing holding me in place I, I, I guess physics was on my side because obviously I'm here to this day, but that was a terrifying moment for me. And I was always very, very tr- uh, careful about what kind of rides I went on after that and how they, they locked you in. Did that make it into the opening sequence? Uh, not me, you know, because that was not filmed. That was just uh, uh, that was that was m- for fun for me. But that they do have a shot of that so in, in it. Would there being splashed with the water? We can't see your car going by in the background with a terrified tiny jet. Um, yeah, <laughs> just, just holding on flume. with one hand as I stream out the back of it. Yes, <laughs> that's the. You have to admit, though, from a producer standpoint, that's the nicest. Yeah, just move a little more to the right. Yes, no, just a little more to the right. Yeah, no, 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 no. Just I know it looks like you're farther yeah. from the family, but a little more to the right, <laughs> step by step by step out of frame. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, well played, sir. Well played. And that's that's where it's funny because as I've told this before, like I'm in the opening sequence for the show for like the first four seasons. I still get paid for every that's episode amazing. of the first four seasons of the show because they couldn't edit me out fully. <laughs> you won in the end. I did. I did. Those those uh, thirty cent paychecks that I get every quarter are so <laughs> worth it. <laughs> so Jet, going back to your main question, yes, your story is that you got paid to go <laughs> on a roller coaster. <laughs> A part of a TV show for which you got residuals, and that's the great thing that you wish you weren't. That you got a part dragged of? into that you wish you weren't part of. You, you were stuck in between, and you still get paid for it. Mm. Yes, yes. Okay, I see what pattern you guys are trying to make throughout these episodes. <laughs> I'm not trying to make. Yeah, like, no. I may ask yeah. questions to the question. We're just yeah, recognizing. Like, we're just identifying. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay. If only the Ukrainians heard what a hard time you're having, they would really put it in, really put it in perspective. For them. Oh God, we can uh, use a scene on that right now. <laughs> and yet none is coming. No, uh, it's okay. I got shot. No, you stay on roller coaster. <laughs> there you go. Are are we are we certain? Because I have I have one, but I think I should go last. I think I should go last. Ooh. Wow, he's got a closer, gonna, ladies and gentlemen. That's confidence. Okay, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I will, let's just do this. It, it, it's a good closer, SCJ? I mean, it depends on what you define as good. Uh, because so, yeah. I don't want to put Hyman into doing Burt Lancaster like six more times. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> well, if you think it's, if you think uh, it's that good. I don't really have one. Um, I think last time I it was towards the end of the episode, I said, like, the global war on terrorism. Yeah. And, <laughs> that doesn't need anything closer. else to it. Yeah. So, uh, SCJ, it's all yours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, ladies so and gentlemen, put your hands together for St. James. I mean, so Close here's the thing. Good. This is, hey, give me, a, give it, me a chance to sit back down. Okay. All right. This good. is something that I was dragged into, kicking and screaming, but I wound up actually enjoying it. Right? At the Marriott. So, I <laughs> am, you know, I'm a performer. And there are some times when, you know, you get tapped for performance and you're like, fuck, I don't want to do this, right? Because I was at a point in like performing where I have a family and I don't want to do this stuff anymore. But this one guy keeps being super persistent and like getting me in Compton, who unfortunately could not be here tonight. Love you, brother. He keeps being persistent, getting me to get up and do 
like a, a, a show with my buddy Compton. And suddenly this guy is putting together a bigger team and Compton and I are like, well, he's such a nice guy. Well, let's just be a part of this fucking bigger team too. And then that winds up being something we keep doing. But then the fucking pandemic happens and we're like, okay, well, at least we're out of that. But no, these people approach and they're like, Hey, we're thinking about turning that bigger team into a fucking podcast. And then next thing I know, I've got these new friends who I fucking love so much and I enjoy hanging out with. And even though I got to get up at fucking 530 in the morning tomorrow, I'm staying up late recording my voice with these jerks. So I love you guys. Thank you for dragging me into this kicking and screaming. It gets better and better hanging out with you guys. Oh, that was good. Beautiful. Nice. That was very good. Step by step, <laughs> day by day. <laughs> yeah, it's like you guys are I'm my giant get family. To your girl. Uh, um, they kind of got yeah! together, and and we're going to eventually edit Jet out of. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> the movement has started. Let me get a high five. Uh, and on all the productions that I have been edited out of, I think that brings us to the close of this episode. Oh, that's right, because you got edited out of Step by Step. That's right. <laughs> yes. You get it now. Good call, good call back. Oh, is that why we brought on the new co-editor? So we don't, he didn't have to edit himself out? <laughs> SMB, SMB, not yet. Not yet, oh, Sean Michael. Not yet. Sure, so, I'm sorry, sorry. Christian Heffley, we love you, baby. Wait until season four. Wait until season four. <laughs> oh, but all the sweet re- residuals I'm going to get. Mm-hmm. From all that zero money we're Let's bring it home, right Michael Hyman. Yes. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to get 10% of Burt Lancaster. Thank you, as always, to Matt Walker for intro and outro music. This episode was hosted for now and edited by Jet Kaufman. <laughs> <laughs> co-produced by Christian Heavily, co-hosted by me, Michael Hyman, and featured the talents of Chris Sanders, Sean Michael Boozer, Stephen C. James, Jed Burton, and Josh Spence. Yo. Every scene you heard today was infrared on the spot, along with some of the ads, and with only a light touch of editing for your comfort. Editing by Christian Heffley, not Jed Kaufman anymore. If you're loving what we're doing, <laughs> please real quick write a five-star review before you close the app. Tell a friend about us. Scream it from the rooftops and edit yourself out of the opening credits of a sitcom. And before we go, uh, anyone want to want to promote anything? Non-guests? Any plugs that are going to be uh, super the timely? Legit podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jet. Yeah. Can we record Burt Lancaster now? Yes, Josh, we can record Burt Lancaster now. Ha cha cha! I don't believe anything's on. Oh my time. I kick the door. Front hugs on you ain't the fly, you ain't my don't stop and listen. No front hugs and no kissing. I ain't that scared to call your mama. You'll be rolling home with a coma. I got my crew. You ain't got nothing. Oh, follow these rules. Yeah, cause we ain't bluffing now. You ain't no rabbi, you ain't no priest. So rise up off me like the showbread with no yeast. Now, uh, don't use that front hug, boy. That makes it awkward. That's inappropriate now. You back up all her cause we wanna keep our minds pure, wanna keep away from sin. That means it's you too, girl. All these ones all around Give me that Christian side hug, that Christian side hug. Give me that Christian side hug, that Christian side hug. I'm a rough rider, filled up with Christ's love. Give me that Christian side hug, that Christian side hug. Give me that Christian side hug.
In honor of the great season the Dodgers are having, we thought we'd rerun a couple of ads from our 2021 April Fool's Day episode, number 19, What a Weird Episode. Enjoy. Hello, this is Scooter Dale, uh, head of marketing for Los Angeles Dodgers, and uh, we wanted to get some voices of the city to tell you how excited they are about the 2021 season. We have our first guest coming up. How can you not be romantic about baseball? The only sport that is 90% physical, 50% mental. Heaven on earth is a dirt and grass diamond. Apple pie wishes it was an American's baseball. You don't have to swing hard to hit a home run. If you got the timing, the ball will just leave. Have you gone eye to eye with a curveball that just falls off the table? Don't you dare tell me that gravity exists. The season starts in spring, through the dog days, ending with a champion. Don't forget where you're going. Otherwise, <laughs> you're going to get lost. I tell the kids, somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose. Don't fight about it, just get better. America's history has rolled on like an army of steamrollers. It's been a race like a blackboard. Rebuilt and erased again. Baseball. It's been the one constant that has marked the time. This field. This game. Reminds us of what's good and what can be again. In a city of transplants, there's always room for one more. I'm Matthew McConaughey. These are the boys of summer. And your World Series champions. It's time for Dodgers baseball. So, hey, this is Scooter Dale, um, brand manager for uh, Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, we're just trying to get multiple voices from Los Angeles to talk about their love for the Dodgers. So we've had some people like Matthew McConaughey, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Brad Pitt. They, they shared their thoughts. So uh, just go ahead and share how much you love uh, about the Dodgers. Baseball. Heaven on earth. Field of dreams. America's pastime. The only thing older than the game is the aristocrats joke I tell. <laughs> Some things do change, though. The spicy dogs aren't as long as the Dodger dogs. I miss peeing in troughs in the men's bathroom. <laughs> I learned about life there. Is Mookie his real name? <laughs> Mookie. Ah. And parking. I just paid money to go to a place to spend more money. <laughs> Why am I schlepping? I was Yago in Aladdin. $27 million for Mookie bets, but I'm here to see Robeson. Why am I schlepping? They should have walked from home. These are the boys of summer? They should really tell you that you're in the sun for way too long. <laughs> Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. What is this? Prohibition? <laughs> sure, they're Dodger dogs, but they're also just fucking hot dogs. <laughs> It's 2021. Why the hell are there still plastic seats? I pay good money. If I'm out in the sun too long, I'm going to get skin cancer. <laughs> the seventh inning stretch happens. Can I go home now? <laughs> it's time for Dodgers baseball. 